اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم موسٹ ویلکم دیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹو رائٹنگ کلاس آئی ہوپ یو آر آل ڈوئنگ ویل سلام در خدمت ہم شاکر دوانی عزیز سبیر وارسم کے ہمیں تنجور و صحت مند باشیم با درس این روزی خوش آمدید میگم میرے مسوی درس قسمی که ما در درس گزشته فنکچویشن مارکس را خواندیم امیدوار هستم که در درس فهمیدین که در موجود فنکچویشن مارک بودن اوکی okay, دیر ستودنز ان پریویس لیکچر وی ستدید فنکچویشن مارکس ای هوپ یو آل انڈرستود آن دی لیکچرز آن فنکچویشن مارکس رایت سو ناو تدائی وی آر گوینگ تو ستارد ای کمپلیتلی دیفرن ٹاپک As you can see here from there that the topic that we are going to study today is paragraph. Now, today we'll be talking about what's paragraph, uh, how to write paragraphs, types of paragraphs, parts of paragraphs. All these uh, things will be covered, inshallah, in this lecture. So, uh, let's get on with it. At the very first, we have writing a paragraph now. The question that comes to my mind is how to write paragraph. Before we get answer this, before we get the answer of this question, we better know what is paragraph, right? And how do we define paragraph? Uh, so let's get on with. It. Let's start. It. The word paragraph is made of two words, right? Paragraph. Uh, focus on the pronunciation. Some of some of the students pronounce it paragraph, which is not the exact pronunciation. The exact pronunciation is paragraph. I understand that pronouncing words correctly is not easy. It takes uh, time, right, to master it. I taught you some techniques to master your pronunciation. Follow those techniques and and try to uh, follow those techniques and master your uh, pronunciation. I understand that at first. When you are picking up the exact pronunciation, it's not very easy. It's like a pulling teeth. But slowly, slowly, or gradually, you get accustomed to the pronunciation. Then it becomes quite interesting for you to pronounce word, the word correctly. Not only this word, every word. Now, the word paragraph, <coughs> sorry, it's pronounced like paragraph, right? Paragraph. Now, the word paragraph is made of two words. The first is para and the second is graph. Now what's para and what's graph? Para means writing and graph means picture. So basically we say that, uh, so, so we can basically say that paragraph means writing a picture, right? Shogodon Aziz, kalimai paragraph as du kalimai tarkib shudas, kia kishas para, de kishas graph, right? So para means writing and graph means picture. نو no, پاراگراف means writing a picture یعنی پرا خودش مانایش writing یعنی نوشتن را میدهد و graph means picture خب ما به طب که یعنی مثلا اساسی ما گفتم میتونیم که پاراگراف means نوشته کردن یک تصاویر و یا یک عکس خب این بود تخت لفظی مانایش حالی میاییم سونی تعریف پاراگراف یا یک تعداد اصال ها این قسم میگن but uh, you know some some of the writing experts say that paragraph is taken from Greek word paragraphos means to write beside or written beside it's self-contained unit of discourse and writing dealing with a particular point of idea paragraph <coughs> و پاراگراف وس میگن در یونانی کلمه در زبان یونان و تو لاتینی ما گفته میتونیم که مانایش است تو رایت بساید یک چیز را نوشته کردن اور ریتن بساید یا یک چیز را نزدیک خوب یعنی یک یک نزدیک به نزدیک یک چیز را نوشته کردن را چی میگن پاراگراف خو خو ایت سلف کانتین ا یونیت اف دیسکورس میگه در 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 خود در ذات خود میگه یک سخن را میدارن که این سخن یا این موضوع یا این نوشتار <coughs> در مورد یک نظریه خاص یا مخصوص می باشد این بود تعریف پراگراف خو ساده تعریف از همه ساده یا بسید تر تعریف که زیاد گرامر یعنی کسای زیاد نوشتدان برش میدن او از پراگراف از گروپ آف سنتنس در دیولپس وان مین اور سنگل ایدیا پراگراف که از میگه گروپ یا یک سیتی یا گروه جملات است که یک موضوع یا یک نظریه را وسط یا 
افزایش می دهد یاد داشته باشین که اینجا موضوع یک است right develops one idea now دو سوال اینجا آمد وردن آمدن که ما سر بحث می گیریم یک سوال از سوال اول که ما از روی بحث قرار می گیریم واسه what is paragraph paragraph چی است right که در تاریف ما گفتیم که it is یا می گیم که paragraph paragraph is a group of group of sentences paragraph کی است میگه یک گروه جملات است این سوال جواب شد what's paragraph it's a group of sentences paragraph چی است میگه گروه جملات است right خوب دیگه میگن که what's paragraph it's a group of sentences what does uh, what does a paragraph do what does a paragraph do paragraph what does a paragraph do yeah why do we uh, yeah why do we write paragraph right so why why do we write paragraph much of a paragraph no it's not going to job which is in general or if job is not asked to develop one to develop one man or single idea یه توم گفته میتونن یا میتونن که بگوین که to develop particular idea to develop particular idea این دو سوالات از یاد از مردم از شما میکنه که پاراگراف چرا ما پاراگراف رو نمیشته میکنیم که یک نظریه را وسط بده یا یک مورد نظریه را افزایش بده یا یک نظریه را واضح تر بسازه بخاطر این موضوعی که ما داریم دور واضح تر بسازیم در حالت نوشتن یا به حیث مثل نوشته کردن یا این فرم اف رایتینگ این را چی میگن این را پاراگراف میگن سو این بود تعریف پاراگراف امیدوار هستم که شما با تعریف پاراگراف فهمیده باشین آی هوپ یو اندرستود دی دیفینیشن اف پاراگراف دیس از هاو وی دیفاین دی ورد پاراگراف رایت ناو لیتس تاک ابوت کایندز اف پاراگرافز دت هاو منی کایندز اف پاراگرافز دو وی هاف رایت سو جنرالی آی دونت سی دت دیز ار دی اونلی تایپس اف پاراگرافز دو نوت هاف سم ادر بات جنرالی موست کامنلی Uh, we have four types of paragraph the first paragraph which we are going to study inshallah step by step in upcoming lessons is narrative paragraph the first paragraph is narrative paragraph the second paragraph is descriptive paragraph descriptive paragraph the third paragraph is expository paragraph and the fifth fourth paragraph is persuasive paragraph narrative یک سوال تشریح میکنم که پاراگرافی که به ما کسر تشریح میکنه دسکرپتیف که یک موضوع را تشریح میکنه اکسپوزیتوری که یک موضوع را افشا میکنه پرسویسیف که یک کسر یا یک موضوع تا یک موضوع یک کسر تشویق میکنه سو این نیرتیف پاراگراف وی تل ستوریز این دسکرپتیف پاراگراف وی تسکرپ سمتنگ این اکسپوزیتوری پاراگراف وی اکسپوز اور اکسپلین دی هیدن تنگز این پرسویسیف پاراگراف وی تل ستوریز so we didn't motivate someone in order to do or not to do an action right or something so now this was just a simple explanation inshallah for detail the detailed explanation will be provided uh, in the in the process of the explaining of the lectures right inshallah upcoming classes uh, now <coughs> let's talk about <coughs> sorry parts of uh, pa uh, parts of paragraph like how many parts of paragraph uh, do we have if you can pay attention to this one you see that first you know you see the top you see the middle and you see the bottom now if you compare this it has three part it's made of three part now similarly to this paragraph also has three part so the first is topic sentence the second is supporting sentences remember that sentences it's more supporting sentences are more than one or two okay more than two sorry not more than one but more than two or three you see supporting sentence that's why the es is added here with these two there is no s right concluding sentence there is no uh, e, uh, there is no s but the middle one is written with a cap with a, with a plural form right supporting sentences why well, because from the, this one it's clearly uh, 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 understandable that it's more than two or three sentences okay now 
topic sentence paragraph has three parts topic sentence supporting sentence and concluding sentence a paragraph uh, see uh, parts that are a topic sentence do you mean supporting sentences see me as a concluding sentence all like a topic sentence chira mega supporting sentence chira mega i'm sure concluding sentence chira mega mommy miriam هر کدام شوانه زیری بحث قرار میگیریم از هم اول تر ما topic sentence هم میخوانیم <coughs> before everything else we study the topic sentence now what is topic sentence and how do you define topic sentence so we say that a topic sentence of a paragraph is a very important sentence which introduce the topic of the paragraph topic sentence کس میگه یک جملتی بسیار مهم است که با ما یک موضوع را تشریح می کنند یعنی یک موضوع سوری یک موضوع را به ما معرفی می کنند جمله که به ما یک موضوع را معرفی می کنند او را ما topic sentence می گیم a sentence that introduce us the topic of uh, the paragraph or of uh, or that introduces the topic simply whether it's in a paragraph or it's in the paragraph it, it's called topic sentence right so uh, یک, یک جمله که به ما Uh, جمله خیلی مهم است خیلی مهم تر است که به ما یک موضوع را یا یک تاپیک را در پاراگراف معرفی میکنه جمله که به ما یک موضوع را معرفی میکنه ما او را تاپیک سنتنس میگیم اوکی نو دس تاپیک سنتنس هاز تو پارتس که این می تاپیک سنتنس پاس دو پارت داره چی داره این می تاپیک سنتنس که از هاز تو پارتس که تو پارتس یا دو قسمت داره right? یا دو بخش, بخ, بخش داره که یکیش از یا جز داره که یکیش از topic و topic چی را میگه و دیگهش از controlling idea all topic چی است و controlling idea چی است topic names subject of a paragraph اسم ها و موضوع یک پاراگراف اسم ها و موضوع یک پاراگراف چی میگن؟ او را تاپک میگن موضوع یک موضوع اسم ها یا موضوع در یک پاراگراف باشه او را چی میگن؟ تاپک میگن کنترولنگ ایدیا It says what the paragraph will say about the topic It says what the paragraph will say about the topic این میگن میگه که پاراگراف در مورد تاپک چی میگه؟ آلی مثلا یک جمله است که او جمله دو جز داره جز اول در جز اول اسم ها و موضوع است در جز آخرش یا جز دومیش که در مورد اونمو موضوع یک چیز میگه یعنی شاید توصیفش هم میکنه یا شاید یک موضوع دیگر را باید تشریف میکنم so a sentence, a topic sentence has two parts the first part is called topic the second part is called controlling idea no, the topic is called names of the subject of a paragraph in controlling means it says what the paragraph will say about the topic it means that whether, the, for example it says that Afghanistan is a mountainous country it's a very common topic sentence now To Afghanistan is a topic and, and mountainous, mountainous country. Now this says about Afghanistan. It talks about Afghanistan. In one way, in one way we can say that a to, uh, the, the part of sentence that describes the topic is called controlling idea very easily. Okay? Now let's go through the examples. You see the topic sentence? The readings in Afghanistan are very special because of the mix culture. You see here, the readings in Afghanistan are very special. because of the mixed culture. No, you see the readings is a topic. It's a topic, it's already written here, you can see that. The readings in Afghanistan, now this is the topic part, are special because of the mixed culture, they are special, they're different. I mean, they're different than the others because of the mixed culture. Now, what is special? What are special, right? The readings. Now, if you pay attention to this sentence, it talks about the part. Now this sentence. Now the part of sentence that talks about the topic is called controlling idea. Now if you go through the, 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 the topic, so this will be the first sentence and topic sentence and then you write the supporting sentences so that the information about the, uh, so that the question how weddings in Afghanistan are special will be answered, right? Now this is an example. Now, topic sentence in the beginning. Now, position of topic sentence. Where do we use topic sentences, right? Uh, remember, dear students, 
topic sentence in the beginning. Now let's go through the examples, some examples of, uh, let's talk about the location and place of topic sentence. Place of, place or, place or position of topic sentence. Topic sentences. Mostly, it has three positions. First, at the beginning of paragraph, of a paragraph, or paragraph, uh, at the beginning of paragraph, see, at the middle of the paragraphs, and third, at the end of 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 paragraphs okay now the position of topic sentence is usually categorized in the three fun three, three sections uh, mostly if I put it into percentage I would say that 80 percent uh, the position of a paragraph is at the uh, of, of the topic sentence is at the beginning of paragraph. Eighty percent, eighty percent topic sentence comes in the at the beginning of the paragraph. Okay, or in the middle of the paragraph. Sorry, in the middle of the paragraph. So I, we, we do not use at. Sorry, I didn't pay attention to that stuff. Okay, in the middle of the paragraph. So how many person? Let's say. It, uh, 15 person in the middle of the paragraph in the middle 15 percent topic sentence comes in the middle of the paragraph and only five percent it comes in at the end of the paragraph five percent five percent five percent comes at the middle of the paragraph. So now this is the position of what? This is the position of paragraphs. Uh, sorry, this is the position of uh, uh, topic sentence, not the paragraph. Now, so then is this in good location, your position ki kodam joy, paragraph istafada misha, sorry, topic istafada misha da yak paragraph. Awalas at the beginning, the Ravazi paragraph ki of a topic sentence, a jumlai ki heli mohim washa, a topic sentence ki jumlai ki heli mohim washa, a stop is at the beginning, your dar awali yak paragraph miya, va baki ponza fisat ki kam kudamishast, in the middle of the paragraph, in the middle of the paragraph miya, yani dar mobile paragraph wa miya, and va panchias, panch fisat, this your kama, that's very rare. Can your paragraph as an kidahu topic sentence case at the end of paragraph? So, in good topic sentence, position topic sentence, or merim kichutu. Many people argue that school rules are not necessary. We are, after all, almost adults and know very well how we should behave. Our parents have taught us good habits and when we were younger, they punished us if we misbehaved. There is no need, these people say, for a long list of rules and regulations. One rule would be enough. Always think of the welfare of others and the reputation of a school. Now, you see the topic sentence is at the beginning of the paragraph. So I told you that topic sentence has three positions. So it's at the top, in the beginning or at the beginning of the paragraph, right? Now, a topic sentence in the middle of the, uh, of uh, the paragraph. You see, this this all sounds very reasonable, but I have uh, I have uh, grave doubts whether it would work. Think of the likely chaos that would arise in school with no rules. If there were no rules for moving around the school, there would be students jams every time we change lessons. Pupils would not wear. Uh, sorry, pupils would not wear their uniforms with pride, damaging the school in the eyes of the local community. Times for using the library or clubs rooms would not exist, and no one would know why when they were available. 
Now this is at the end of, uh, at the middle of the paragraph. Now this is the very common uh, place of uh, position of the pa of the topic sentence. Now, uh, types of topic sentences. Let's talk about the types of topic sentences. Who? Bali mo aqsam topic sentence ra mutalia mikunim ki what is how many types how many types of topic sentences do we have? We have two kinds of topic sentences. The first is topic, main topic sentence, and the second is introductory topic sentence. Now, what is main topic sentence and what is introductory topic sentence? We will explain this now here. Okay, let's uh, study this. First, we have main topic sentence, right? Now, uh, it is a topic sentence which states the main idea of the paragraph in an essay. Where? Here is something different. What is that? That's an essay. We will talk about essay, inshallah, in upcoming lessons. After, after uh, talk paragraph, we will uh, we will be explaining, inshallah, essays. Uh, what is a topic sentence? I mean, sorry, main topic sentence. It is a topic sentence which states the main idea of the paragraph in an essay. Only more axiomy topic sentence that I will call him. topic sentence more do not worry. Yeki shas main topic sentence. Va badishas introductory topic sentence. Do mishas. Only main topic sentence chira mega va introductory topic sentence that chira mega. Main topic sentence me as takht lavzi ya as esam ora va me kalem ki topic sentence umi ya asli. Right? It is a topic sentence which states the main idea of the paragraph in an essay. Yek topic sentence as ki ba mo state bayon me kona asli nazariyei. A paragraph ra in essay dar essay all ki essay chi ast va je kusum nemeshta meshe in ra pasan ma mi khani essay ki ast ya qadar budan in shogodan aziz ki essay is a group of paragraphs essay ki ast group of paragraph a paragraph ki ast group of sentences va essay ki ast group of paragraph az yani yani essay is in larger composition paragraph right essay ki ast masalan yek mavzu ast ki ma dar yek paragraph نوشته کده نمیتونیم بنابراین ما به یک چیز دیگه نیاز داریم که پراگراف ها زیاد شود وقتی که پراگراف زیاد شود گروه پراگراف جور شد او را باز اسه میگن یعنی من تاپک سنتنس که از همیشه با ما اصلی هدف یا اصلی نظریه نظریه پراگراف را در اسه بیان میکند و بعدی ما داریم انتردکت تاپک سنتنس انتردکت تاپک سنتنس it is a topic sentence which introduces the topic in paragraph. Iki ma peshtar khandim introductory topic sentence una must. A topic sentence la megan ki which introduce kasi ya topic sentences ki ba ma mauzui mauzura dar paragraph maarifi mekona. Topic sentence ki mauzura ba ma dar paragraph maarifi mekona ibarat as انتردکتی یا معرفی کننده تاپک سنتنس است. تاپک خودش معرفی کننده می باشد. که از اسمش معلوم تر میشه معلوم میشه که انتردکتری یعنی معرفی کننده وقتی که با ما یک تاپک را انتردوس میکنه ایرا ما میگیم انتردکتری تاپک سنتنس. خوب. شاگردان از این درس جدید ما شروع میشه. علی I have a coffee as you can see the same sentence and it's enough for today dear students now if you have any questions suggestions regarding the paragraph and topic sentence you are most welcome to ask me now I just say that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save you and bless you with your family stay safe and stay happy